Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing very good. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another testing Primark makeup video. I went into my local Primark recently and I saw they had a ton of new stuff. So I picked up all that new stuff and today I'm gonna to be putting it right on my face. So if you guys wanna see all the things that I picked up, what kind of look I end up creating, my thoughts on it, you know the drill, please stay tuned. All right, it's a googly eye kind of day. <clears throat> How can I go from looking like somewhat normal to this so quickly. Why doesn't this fit on my head anymore? I think my head's grown. Okay, so I've already moisturized my face. I'm just gonna use that as my primer today. The foundation I'm gonna be using is the PS My Perfect Color Matte Foundation. It says it's a natural medium coverage, matte finish, oil-free foundation. I got it in the shade Nude. This was three pounds, so super cheap. I actually quite like Primark foundations. The um, Double Wear Dupe and then the foundation stick, both really, really good. So, that's what that looks like. Looks like it'll be a decent color. I'm actually in a bit of a rush right now. I have to leave the house in just over half an hour. So I'm gonna try and film this whole video in half an hour. Wish me luck. So I'm gonna take a couple of pumps of that on a sponge, just like so. And let's see what you got. Whoa, hmm, smells like paint. I don't, I don't hate it, it's just interesting. Yeah, it really does smell like paint. So I'm just gonna blend that all over my skin. I feel like this is maybe actually a little bit too light for me for once. Ooh. Okay, so let's see how it's covering up these spots. Done a decent job at that. Seems to be blending out okay. Good coverage. I'm gonna take a little bit more. And by a little bit more, I mean like a full pump. And splat that on my forehead. Da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to like speed bounce. Like, come on. Okay, it does look pretty matte. Like even before powdering it down, it does look quite matte. But it doesn't look like scary matte to me. Where is my voice going? Why do I sound like Marge Simpson? Homie. I've definitely done that in a video before as well. Lisa needs braces. <laughs> Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Okay, let's see how we're looking. Um, it doesn't look half bad. It looks more matte than I would normally go for, but I mean, it is a matte foundation, so kind of like, what do you expect? But yeah, actually, it looks decent. It's giving me good coverage. It is creasing a little bit around my mouth, but again, that's why I don't necessarily like matte foundations that much, because I find they do crease quite a lot on me. But yeah, now looking at it, it's, it's a decent color. It's not too far off, a little bit of bronzer, and we'll be sorted. Yeah, it's giving me good coverage. It's very like even, blends out easily. Like matte foundations aren't my thing, but that's quite nice, especially for three quid. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my concealer and all that good stuff. Um, I'll check back with you guys in a second and then we're gonna try out these liquid highlighting drops. All right, concealer is on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try out the, what are you? It's the Nudes Illuminating Highlighter Drops. This was three pounds and it's in the shade Desire. I think they had like two different colors. Ta-da! I undressed you. So this is just like a little squeezy tube by the looks of things. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, looks nice. Feels like a little teeny tiny bit gritty. Like there is like some fairly chunky-ish shimmer in there, but it does look nice. Mm, it actually does look a little bit subtle. We'll see what it looks like on my face. That's what matters the most. So you know what, I'm actually gonna take that from my finger and put it on the sponge because I feel like that's gonna be a little bit better. And I'm gonna pop that on the high points of my little face. Okay, it doesn't seem to blend out at all. Right, uh, let's try my finger then. Maybe it'll like blend out like that. Or maybe it will just sit on my skin even more. Um, okay, well, that looks really quite glittery. Uh, mm, let me try it one more time on this side. This looks a bit rubbish. I'll be honest with you, it does. It looks a bit shite. Um, oh Christ, what have I done? It dries down like super quick. Doesn't work with a sponge. It works a little bit better with your fingers, but even still, like it just looks very, very glittery. And like, once you've actually finished blending it out, it kind of doesn't really look like much. Like if you actually want any color payoff, you have to leave it a little bit unblended. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go back in with a little bit more foundation because I don't like that at all. It's actually just making me look like really, I don't know, just not cute. Yeah, I'm just gonna cover that up, pretend it never happened. All right, so I'm not gonna powder everything down, just use my Laura Mercier powder, which as you all know, is like one of my favorites. I kind of like always use this powder if I'm trying out new like foundations and stuff. So I'm just gonna set my under eyes first and then just like go around my small lines and a touch on my forehead as well. And then do my lid and then I'll powder the rest of this down. So this is what I'm like curious about because it is a matte foundation. I'm curious to see how it will like powder down. I mean, it does look matte, but it doesn't look too like powdery and like chalky almost. Primark foundations are mental, man. Like they're always like decent. Even if I don't necessarily like the finish, which is like, this isn't my usual kind of finish, 
but I'm always pleasantly surprised by them. That looks okay. It does look quite matte. It doesn't look like the most amazing foundation in the whole wide world, but it's three pounds. And I mean, it's a whole lot better than a lot of other foundations that I've tried. I can still see where that like shimmery stuff is. This stuff, this stuff sucks, man. Next for like bronzing and contouring, I have two different products. I have the Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Fearless. Looks like this. You guys know that one of my favorite bronzers of all time is actually from Primark. It's called like, it's called like the Beached. I think it's called like the Beach Bronzer or something. It's kind of like supposed to be a dupe of like the Urban Decay one. But yeah, this one here is in the shade Fearless and it actually looks very, very similar to the one that I had before that's now like discontinued. And then I also have the Sculpt and Glow Face Palette. This one was six pounds. Looks like this. Um, these shades are way too dark for me, like these shimmery shades, but I thought I would pick it up and try out these contouring powders. Pretty sure they're like all matte there, apart from like these two on the side, which look very pretty. Too dark for me, but very pretty. So first of all, I think I'm actually gonna take, I'm actually gonna take this shade here, which was called Pecan. I'm gonna take it on a Morphe angle brush and see what we can do here. Normally Primark, Primark? Primark powders are very, very pigmented. So I'm tapping off the excess quite a bit there. Ooh, that's nice. I was looking at that color like, looks a little bit kind of like, almost like greeny, like, hmm. Are you gonna be the one? But this is really nice. Again, like one of my favorite like contouring and bronzing palettes was from Primark. It was like their chocolate one. Oh God, that was so good. I still have it, but obviously it's like not really in stores anymore. Oh, that's nice. So now what I'm gonna do is go in with the matte bronzing powder, the bronze glow one, this one here. So I'm gonna take a Morphe E3 brush. This one has a ton of kickback. Like literally I'm just like tapping it in. Let me just show you. Like if I just do a couple of taps, you can see like a lot comes off. So be warned, this is probably gonna be very, very pigmented. So I'm gonna take some off on the back of my hand and just lightly start bronzing up my cheeks. Oh yeah, nice. It just kind of like warms everything up a little bit. So again, just doing like one tap and tapping off the excess. Very nice. It's not as good as the other one that I've had before, but it is still nice. So I'm gonna leave it like that for that one. It's a good bronzer for two quids. And I think I'm gonna go in with this one here. Yeah, I think I like the look at that one. And that one is called Spice. So again, I'm taking a little bit more on that same brush. I'm just gonna focus that a little bit more so on my cheeks, just so I don't look like completely bonkers, although, I go like over my nose, make myself look a little bit sun-kissed, you know? I mean, that's a bit more bronzer than I maybe wanted to wear today, but I did need to try them out for you guys. So yeah, these are nice. Good little palette there. Obviously like these highlighters, if you're a similar shade to me, which I mean like this palette, I believe will kind of work for like medium skin tones. Um, I feel like these highlighters would be a little bit too dark for you, but yeah, see that one's even still like quite dark for me, but obviously you can just like wear those as eyeshadows or whatever. But yeah, I think these are decent. I would love to see like a single version like this of that shade there, because I really, really like that. So now I actually have a brow pomade. This is just called the PS Brow Pomade. It was £2.50 and I have mine in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm gonna give you a go, my little friend. Oh, that's very like, it's quite soft. I haven't actually used a pomade in a little while, to be honest. So I'm just gonna take whatever's on the brush and just kind of like dab that just on the lid there, just so there's not too much product. And I'm gonna, Fill my brows in. It's maybe a little bit warmer than I was expecting, but that's fine. Yeah, it's a little bit more ready than I wanted, but I don't feel like it's too noticeable, especially like by the time I put like a bit of brow gel in there. It's creamy though. I'm not sure how like long lasting it's gonna be in the sense that like it does feel quite, quite like blendy and smudgy, which normally for a pomade, I want something that's like gonna actually like stay, but it is quite good just for like shading in your brows a bit. I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a pomade, I'd say it's more of like a brow cream, if we're gonna be really pernickety. I don't think I've ever actually said that word in a sentence in my life. Um, yeah, I, I, it's okay. If you want a really, really cheap pomade, it's all right. Essence, I think, do a better one for like, very, very similar price. If you did wanna check out a brow product from Primark that is so, so good, try out the little like micro brow pencils. They are sick. Like literally like one of my most favorite brow pencils. But like, yeah, this, this is all right, it's fine, it's done the job, it's just not my fave. So now I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows. I just have the Urban Decay um, brow endowed here, so I'm just gonna fill them in. As you can see, I'm like, I'm rushing around, I'm rushing. Yeah, now I've got some brow gel in there. You really don't notice like the warmth of that brow pencil pomade thing. 
I'm going to the cinema in a minute. I haven't been to the cinema in ages. It's probably a good thing that I'm like testing out new makeup because if it sucks, at least I'll be in the dark. But we gotta, we gotta think positive thoughts here. Avant wear. Yeah, my brows look okay. They're looking alright. It's not my best brow day of my life, but it's fine. So now we're gonna move on to eyes. So for that, I have the Leopard Lux eyeshadow palette. This one here, I think there's only like one color, um, but this was four pounds, and it looks like this. Now I picked up this palette because I like the look of this green. I know I've been doing a couple of green looks on my channel recently, but I really, really like how this green looks. I kind of want to do like a just like a khaki eye. Do you say khaki or do you say khaki? It looks okay. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks okay. So as you can see, you've got nine different shadows there. Um, it looks as though two of them are kind of like glittery foils almost. And then it looks as though three of them, these three here are shimmers. This one seems a little bit less shimmery and then the rest are mattes. So first of all, I think I'm gonna go in with this color here. Oh, it's got like one of those like films over the lid of this. I can see. So I'm just gonna pop that in my crease. That is pigmented. Hallelujah. Again, I find that with Primark eyeshadow palettes, they can either be like a real hit or a real miss. But this shadow in particular is a hit for me. I'm now gonna take this green shade up here. That looks very pigmented. Tap off the excess. And oh my God, look at it. I love it, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna pack that basically like all over my lid. You know the drill. When I say all over the lid, I mean like the out of two thirds, let's say. That's a nice little khaki green there. I feel like that on a wet base as well would be really, really nice, like really intense. So I'm just kind of like working that in the crease and then I will blend it out a bit better in a second. Nice. Now I think I'm just gonna take my finger at first. Take my finger. <laughs> and I'm going to pop that on my lid. I feel like maybe this might work better as like a wet shadow or something. It's quite glittery. <laughs> There's a little bit of fallout as well. Yeah, it's it's quite glittery. It's a bit of a bummer. I was expecting it to be more of like a foil. So I'm actually gonna take a slightly dampened brush instead and see if it works better like that. It's very, very crumbly with like a lot of fallout, but it definitely does work better like that. So yeah, I think this on more of like a wet base would work better. Or if you do just use it like with a wet brush. Very pretty color though, like look at that green. I'm now gonna take a little bit more of that like matte khaki color and just like blend it into that, just doing little, little tappy tappy motions. And then take that first shade that I used again and just blend out the crease. Nice. Now I'm actually gonna take this shade here. Oh my God, I just realized I haven't done highlighter. What the hell is wrong with me? I just went straight to eyes. Oh my God, I don't even know who I am. I'm gonna take this shade here anyway. Just let's try and like stay on track here, Steph. Taking the shade and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner. See how it's looking. How are you doing? It's doing good by the looks of things. It's doing very good. Oh yeah, that's quite pretty. And I'm gonna take this really random um, backstage brush. It's a brow sculptor, but I'm gonna use it for my eyes. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna go back in with the first shade that I was using. Maybe take a little teeny tiny bit of that one there and just smoke up my lower lash line a bit. Just like go right along the lash line quite like close in. And then I'm gonna take that fluffy brush again that I had the transition shade on and just buff that out. Just a little bit more concentrated right in my lash line. Sweep away a little bit of that there. Oh my God, I forgot I had this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so now I have the Liquid Foil Metallic Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Combat. So this is just like, yeah, like a liquid foil thing. Yeah, I picked this up like literally as I was kind of walking to the till and I was like, oh, what is that? Oh, that's what I wanted from the other shadow. Okay, fabulous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that and I'm gonna plonk that right on my lid. Like kind of, well, not kind of, like literally just like in the center. And I'm gonna take that brush that I was using just on the other side and just blend that in. Sorry, sparkly green eyeshadow. You have been upgraded a bit there, my friend. That's so stunning. It doesn't blend out as easy as I maybe like, but it looks so good. That is such a sick color. Yeah, sorry. Um, this guy here, nope. This guy here, yep. Yeah. Just blend all of that back in. A Little bit of fallout with the powder shadows there, but nothing too crazy. It's more so just from 
this little evil guy down here. All right, so now let's quickly move on to highlighter. I mean, let's face it, I'm probably gonna do the other eye off camera anyway, so why not? So this here is the Ultra Glow Highlighter Powder in the shade Trophy. It looks great. Again, Primark highlighters are usually sick, so I'm excited about this one. Very nice. And then I also have the Glow Getter 6 Luxury Highlighter Powders, which was six pounds. This is what it looks like. Miami Vibes looks right up my street. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Okay, that looks, that looks ridiculous actually. Ah. So first of all, I'm gonna take this guy here. This by the way was three pounds. Um, I'm actually using the wrong brush here. Oh my God, I'm such a mess. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with the shade Trophy. Let's see what you got here, son. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, stunning, incredible, glorious, fabulous. Nice. That's re really pretty, whoa. I thought it was gonna be too dark for me, but that's actually so nice. Maybe like a tiny little cast there, but I don't care. Yeah. Stunning. That's another new fave. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Miami Vibes from this palette here. Oh my God, yes. Why are Primark highlighters so good, man? I don't know how they do it. They're so cheap, but they're so good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, love those. Love that a lot. They're actually very, very similar to be honest. So now I have the iconic eyeliner. It says steady tip for easy application. This like I took it, I like unwrapped it funny. So like the lid's still here. Um, this was £1.50. I'm in a rush though, if I haven't already said that. So I'm gonna blitz that over my eyes. Let's actually test to see how like, oh, that's very black, okay. So I'm just gonna quickly line my lash line with that. I mean, it's skipping ever so slightly over some of the shadow, so I'm having to go over it a couple times, but it is very, very easy to use. Yeah, that was really easy. I'm actually gonna like put you back in there for a minute. Perfect. All right, so now for mascara, I have the Wonder Lash. This says length, definition, and lift, and this was three pounds. I feel like this looks a little bit like, like it's box kind of like they're real. See what kind of wand you have. I'm losing my voice again. Okay, so it's just like a plasticky wand. Let's give it a wiggle. Ooh. Okay, instantly I can tell this is a mascara that I am gonna like. Because it's just giving me like length, volume, thickness, all within the first like five seconds. Very nice. Ooh, I really like this eye look. I really like it. Okay, so now, I know I'm looking a little bit crazy right now because I haven't done the other eye, but just bear with me. So now I have the matte lip kit. This one here is in the shade Cookie Dough and it was three pounds. Now, how the hell am I supposed to get into this thing? Don't tell me I need scissors for this. It's okay, I got some. So as you can imagine, comes the lip liner and a liquid lipstick. I'm gonna pop on the lip liner first. Ooh, a bit more peachy than I expected. That's really like quite peach and it's not, it's a little bit kind of like waxy, so it's not that easy to apply. Unusual. It smells a bit funny as well, it kind of smells like <sighs> petrol. I like the smell of petrol, let me know if you do, but uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit weird when it's like on your lips. I'm not sure that's like a good color for a lip liner to be honest. Let me just try the liquid lipstick instead. It's like, what kind of color are you? Oh, you're very peachy as well. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Uh, mm. Oh, oh. Uh, Okay, I don't like this color, not with this eye anyway. And this seems to be a little bit patchy as well. Yeah, it's just like, what do I like this color? It's okay. It's just not my, not my usual. Um, uh, I mean, the lip kit's fine. It's okay, it's not great, but it'll do, yeah. So then last but not least, all I have to do is add some lashes. So I have the So Su in collaboration with Danny Dyer. Girl Co Collection Lashes. This one here is in the style Darling. These were six pounds. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, go off camera, do the other eye, add some lashes, sort out my lips a little bit, and then I'll check back with you guys for my final thoughts. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I didn't use the lip product because I didn't like it. I mean, it's not that I didn't like it as such, it was fine, like lip liner was a little bit waxy with like liquid lipstick. Liquid lipstick? Liquid lipstick was like, all right. For three quid, it's okay. It's not like my favorite, but for three quid, you can't really complain. But yeah, the little combination that I've got on my lips is actually a brow pencil and a NYX soft matte lip cream, I think in like Brooklyn, and a little bit of foundation. Probably like the weirdest little lip combo ever, but I like it. So yeah, pop my lashes on. I really, really like the lashes. Tried the Sosu lashes before. They're really, really nice. Um, these are no exception. They're really, really nice. They're nice. Did I say they were nice? Had to trim them quite a bit, but they work for me. Um, what else did I like? Highlight is bomb. 
Bronze was really, really good. I really, really like the liquid liner. I applied a little bit more of that again, just like after I put my lashes on. The mascara, it's crumbling quite a bit, um, which like, I mean, I was gonna say it doesn't really bother me. It does bother me. Like I've only had this on for like 20 minutes, 20 minutes or so maybe, and it's already crumbling. Like, I mean, I just did this eye and that's already crumbling and I've had that on for like no time at all. So yeah, the mascara, I like how it looks, but, um, yeah, it doesn't really seem like it's gonna be overly long wearing. Foundation looks decent. It has picked up on a few little areas like around my chin and everything where there are a few more pores. But again, for like a three pound foundation, it is bloody good. So like I said, I'm in a bit of a rush. So I actually need to skedaddle on out of here. Uh, it is currently half past five. Um, I should have left like 10 minutes ago, but that's fine. I'm not doing anything crazy this evening. I'm probably not gonna wear this for like an extended period of time. I'm just going to the cinema, just gonna grab a little bit of food. So um, yeah, this is how I'm looking right now. Let's do my little phone cut away. So this is my face. My strap's annoying me. This is how I'm looking. Um, you can see a lot of fallout with the mascara there, so that's like not ideal. Um, eyeshadow looks pretty good. This has like cracked a bit, but I still feel like it gives like a nice effect. So you can see it has just kind of like settled around my chin a little bit. So like the foundation isn't amazing, but for a three pound foundation, it is good. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like it's not looking bad. It's not looking amazing. I'm not like super chuffed by this. I'm glad I'm gonna be sitting in a cinema because I don't know. I feel like there would be definitely a few things I would change otherwise. But yeah, for Primark makeup, I don't think it's looking too bad. There are definitely some gems in there. So guys, I'm now gonna head off to the cinema. Ollie's like dying for me to hurry up. Uh, I'm gonna go to the cinema grab some food, probably gonna grab some nuggets, wash a McDonald's order, let me know. I'm hungry. But yeah, I'll be gone for a couple of hours and then um, once I've stuffed my face with popcorn, we'll see how I'm looking. All right, I'm back looking a little bit windswept. Whoa. So it is now, let's have a little look. Around about quarter to 10 in the evening. The film was really good. I saw the new Quentin Tarantino film. I can't, I can't speak. Saw the new Quentin Tarantino film. It's great. Also tried a bloody Tango Ice Blast. We've only just started getting them in Cornwall. Oh my God, best, best things ever. So let's have a look at how my face is doing. Whoa, okay, so it's not looking, it's not looking too bad. My lipstick has worn off quite a bit. That's what I get for like, you know, Tango Ice Blast in and McDonald's in. Um, there is a lot of like mascara fallout under my eyes, like more than I would like there to be. Like I can get away with a few little flecks of mascara like after a long day, but after like three or four hours of me just like doing nothing, just staring at a screen, this is kind of like a little, little bit unacceptable, I wanna say. Let's do a little phone check in again. So yeah, you can see there's like, there's a lot of fallout around there. It's even like gone straight to my nose. There's a bit more creasing. Uh, I feel like the foundation's kind of worn off my chin a little bit and also a fair amount on my nose. What the hell has happened there? The eye makeup looks pretty much exactly the same. My brows look pretty much exactly the same. The foundation on my forehead and stuff, again, looks very, very similar. Highlighter is still popping, all that jazz. But yeah, I am looking a little bit weathered. But I mean, like for, for four hours, I'm not really doing much. I mean, it's not exactly like my long lasting makeup tutorial, is it? Where I like went to the gym and wore it for like, God knows how many hours. Um, this isn't just, this isn't looking incredible. But yeah, there definitely are a few kind of like winners to take away from this video. I, I like the eyeshadow palette. I do think it's quite nice. I don't like that little like green thing. Like, well, it's, it's all right. It's, it's, hate is a strong word, but I really, really, really don't like you. Um, it's, it's fine, it's just not like kind of what I was hoping it would be, but the eyeshadow palette's fine. Highlighters are great. That's kind of to be expected with Primark though, like I freaking love their highlighters, man. Bronzer is still looking good. So like this little combination that I had going with these guys here, yeah, it's looking good, so I like those. The mascara is a no for me. Like I really, really liked how this looked originally, like just like applying it and stuff. If it stayed that way, it would be great, um, but there's just, too much fallout for me personally. Like I didn't touch my face at all. It wasn't like I was like in some treacherous weather conditions or anything. Like I was just watching a film and eating burgers and like there's a lot of fallout. What else do I like? What else is on my face? Really, really like the lashes. Lashes are great. Yeah, no, there were kind of like a lot of things in this video that were just like fine, like really, really good for the money. Um, but I mean, sometimes you can just spend like an extra quid and get like a way better product. Again, for the money, like you really can't complain too much about the foundation. It's not incredible, but yeah, for three pound, like it's got coverage. It doesn't look too bad, but it really doesn't look that bad. And if you do like matte foundations, it's okay. This stuff can piss right off. 
And yeah, I think that's about it. So guys, this is a finished makeup look. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know how you think it wore after four hours. Do you think this is all right after four hours? Or do you think... I'm looking a little bit weathered because I, I think the lot. If you enjoyed this video, you all know what to do by now. Please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Does anyone remember um, The Weakest Link with like Anne, what's she called? Anne, what was, Anne, what was her name? Hey Siri, what's the name of the presenter on The Weakest Link? It looks like you haven't set up any home kit accessories. You can connect smart devices like lights, locks, and thermostats in the home app. Definitely didn't ask her that. Okay. Am I really about to Google this? The weakest link host was Anne Robinson. Bloody Anne Robinson. Yeah, you, um, you're the weakest link. Goodbye. That was all I wanted to say. Um, peace.